Hey guys, welcome to my 18 week bump date. Baby is now the size of a sweet potato. It's also the size of a slingshot, which I thought was really weird because I feel like slingshots are pretty big. So maybe it's just the length of one. I'm not I'm not too sure. It's also the size of a sugar glider, which is so funny because when I was in high school, one of my teachers had sugar gliders as pets. So that's like the only reason why I know what a sugar glider even is. Um, baby is also the size of a croissant, which I have croissants here and there. So those are pretty big as well. So baby's getting really big. So baby is starting to work on his or her facial features. And so this week baby can yawn, hiccup, and swallow. So a lot of things working on in the face now. Baby is now about five and a half inches long and they are starting to um, work on their nerves. So their brain is starting to develop a lot more now. So the big thing this week, I'm just gonna start off with it because I'm bound to slip up here. Um, this week we found out baby's gender. Um, it was really fun. We, well with the coronavirus, we didn't have as big of a gender reveal as we wanted to, but we still got together with um, family and friends. We kept it very small and um, we went outside and had Grayson bite into a cupcake and inside the cupcake was either blue or pink frosting depending on the gender. So Anthony and I already knew the gender and um, my parents knew and then Anthony's mom knew as well. Unfortunately, Anthony's parents weren't able to make it to the gender reveal because of coronavirus and they were just worried about it. So we ended up going to their house and we just told them the gender. And then um, when we went back to my parents' house, we were able to do the cupcake. So without further ado, I will insert the clip here of the gender reveal. Before I input it, pause the video, scroll down, and in the comments, leave a guess on what you think baby number two will be, a boy or a girl. And then once that's done, scroll back up and then hit play. Can you guys see this? Okay, there you go. You gonna eat it? Eat it, Gray. Eat it, The suspense. Eat it, Gray. Eat it. Eat it. Are you having a brother or a sister? He's having a cupcake. He wants this. One sprinkle at a time. Cappy. You gonna eat it? You take a bite? Yeah, take a bite. Sit up, sit up. He's got his whole. Here, eat it. You gonna eat it? <laughs> oh my gosh, Shannon! <laughs> oh my god! What is that? Okay, what is it? It's blue! No, don't let the dog do it. All done? <laughs> yes, yeah, so now everyone knows baby number two is another boy. I'm gonna go crazy. I cannot barely handle one boy and now I'm gonna have two. This is gonna be just so crazy. But it's so fun because Grayson's gonna have a brother. They're gonna be best friends. They're gonna do all sorts of adventures together. I was so sure it was gonna be a girl um, and I wanted a girl because I don't have girl, any girls, and so it'd be fun to, you know, get girl clothes and, you know, do pink and purple and everything, but at least this way I, I've had a boy before, so I know what I'm getting myself into, and I already have all the clothes so I can save money and I don't have to spend buying all new types of clothes, so that's good. <clears throat> I would have been happy either way, and um, yeah, so we're gonna have another boy, so exciting. 
Grayson does not understand brother or sister. Every time I ask him, hey Grayson, are you ha are you you're gonna have a baby brother? And then he says, or a sister. <laughs> because in the past I used to say, are you gonna have a brother or a sister? And so now he just repeats that. So it's really cute, but he does not understand at all what's gonna happen. I did get him a book for Easter. It's called like, I'm a big brother. And it just talks about like being a big brother and having a baby, but it's just not clicking. It's not gonna click until we bring the baby home. <laughs> but yeah, so we're super excited. It was a really fun party. It went awesome. Grayson totally smashed that cupcake and it was super fun. I don't know if in the future we'll keep doing gender reveals for, you know, all our other babies. I think I'll just have to see like how I'm feeling once, you know, once we have that next kid. But it was really fun to reveal. We had a lot of my family on like um, Zoom or some kind of web chat so they were able to see without having to be there in person. So yeah, it was really fun. I post on social media and everyone's super excited. I have been feeling really good lately. Um, second trimester of course, so yeah, I've been feeling awesome. Um, I <laughs> keep saying I honestly kind of forget that I'm pregnant half the time because I just don't feel like any bad symptoms and I really feel myself. I know that's going to change here in the third trimester, but for now I feel really awesome. Um, I have felt baby kick here or there. Um, I guess I can start saying he now. He's, I feel like he's a really lazy baby because I really don't feel him that often. Um, but it could be that I'm just so busy chasing Grayson around every day all day that I don't like have time to like concentrate on him kicking and his kicks are so little right now because he is so little that it's hard to feel them all the time. But I do feel them mostly like in the evening when I'm relaxed and Grayson's already in bed and I'm just hanging out. But they're very few and far between. Like it's not very um, consistent. And so I don't know if that's just like this is how it is in the beginning of the pregnancy, like when they're that little. And I'm just used to like the end of the pregnancy where Grayson was doing like rolls in my belly. Um, I'm sure it's going to get more consistent, but right now I just feel like this baby is really lazy. <laughs> we don't have any names picked out at all. I'm kind of like waiting until I have the anatomy scan, which will be two weeks from today, just to make sure, like to double check that it is a boy. We did do a blood test at home, but the reviews um, are... But people leave reviews saying that it's not always right, and so I just want to be 100% certain, see it with my own eyes on the ultrasound like it is another boy, just before I get my heart set on something. So, no, we don't have any names picked. <laughs> my nails have been growing super fast, I've noticed, um, and I don't feel like I'm losing as much hair, my, and I feel like my hair is getting thicker, so I'm definitely starting to notice that very tired a lot. I'm still having to have coffee maybe like once or twice a week so not too much and it's usually in the middle of the day um, but I do go to bed pretty early at night just because I'm so exhausted and I do get up quite a bit throughout the night just when I hear a noise or usually I have to go to the bathroom a lot. I have been going to the bathroom a ton. Um, I feel like I go all the time. <laughs> I still am having crazy dreams here and there. They're not scary, they're just more like, what? And uh, last week I had a dream that I was having a baby girl, which totally threw me off with this whole boy thing. <laughs> so that's another reason why I'm like, are we sure it's a boy? <laughs> so that was really crazy. I'm like, is that a sign that I am having a girl or is it just my mind like trying to trick me? I don't know. <laughs> I'm still really hungry. I eat a lot. I'll like eat a meal and then like an hour later I'll be starving again. I've been eating so much, but I haven't actually gained too much. Last time I weighed myself, I think it was about a week ago, and since then I've only gained three pounds total, which is pretty good. I know now that we're in the second trimester and moving on, like it's gonna start um, increasing as time goes on, but for now I'm keeping it pretty well. My bump is becoming more noticeable. I'll show you guys. Okay. So this is a really loose t-shirt. So this is not the best t-shirt to be wearing for these, but here's my bump. 
I have maternity jeans on, but this is a regular shirt, but a lot of my shirts are baggy, so, yep, getting big. My mom was telling me that she's surprised that my bump is not bigger, since I am, like, almost halfway there, and I'm surprised too, it is pretty small still, um, but I'm sure it's about to increase soon. I still have a lot of saliva on my mouth, which is really annoying all the time. I've still been sneezing a ton. I think I'm just having a lot of seasonal allergies. So that's been like super annoying. And sometimes when I sneeze, I cannot like hold my bladder. So that's been really difficult. <laughs> I do have, like I was saying earlier, I do have a uh, doctor's appointment two weeks from today. I'll be 20 weeks and I'll have my anatomy scan. I'm very excited about that. Um, with this whole coronavirus thing going around, I've been staying inside mostly. We just do grocery pickups, so we don't um, go anywhere. I don't expose myself to anything. I noticed that I've been really hot lately. Um, I just like right now my sleeves are rolled up, but it's like 43 degrees outside. Although we do keep our house heated, but I just feel like I'm hot all the time. Yeah, so I think that's about it. Um, stay tuned for more bump date videos in the coming weeks. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, give this video a like, especially for the fun gender reveal and Grayson smashing that cupcake. And I will see you guys next time. Bye guys!